Why does lighting matter? It affects your mood. It affects emotion. And it makes your space your space. Hello, this is Gus Patinos, Lighting Specialist with the Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone. Today we're going to talk about lighting. But before we do that, click subscribe below and click the bell for future notifications. Since the advent of lighting, technology has changed multiple times. Lighting is a technology that is ever expanding and ever growing. We see it in LED tape. We see it in recessed lighting. We see it in street lamps. We see it in light bulbs. We're just going to take a few minutes today to really explain what is proper lighting and how to correctly light a space and then also control it. I'd like to talk about color temperature and how that relates to a space. Color temperature really affects the color, the mood, the dynamic ability of a room based on what you're doing in terms of making a red look redder, in terms of making a green look greener, or making even maybe a fabric look washed out. Uh, the correct color temperature plays a big role in how it's going to affect the things around you. Color temperature is represented in a Kelvin scale, and it's on a scale from 1000 to 10,000 Kelvin. One being pretty much a warm, warm light to 10,000 being an ultra blue, very intense light. Um, usually in the residential game or in the residential industry, we like to stay somewhere between 2,700 and about 3,000 to 3,500. Selecting the correct color temperature for your space is something that us here at uh, KDC by Gramophone know very well and understand. And it's something that we can really help you out with in your own home. Ketra, a product from Lutron, who is pretty much industry standard in the lighting game is a lamp that actually allows you to adjust your circadian rhythms throughout the day. What that means is you can adjust the Kelvin temperature, the color temperature of the actual lamp itself from 1400 to almost 10,000 Kelvin. So we can run the whole gamut basically of the light temperature that you would see outside. So in terms of what we're going to be showing, it is the 60 second overview of what uh, a day would kind of look like with these fixtures. What you see going on above us right now, it starts off very low. So what you see at this exact moment is somewhere around 14 to 2000 Kelvin. And as it slowly progresses, it moves up to 22 to 2700 K. As it progresses throughout the day, we're looking at almost a midday sun right now, closer to 4000. As it progresses, you can see it actually ramp up even brighter with an intensity and in temperature as well. We've gotten to about six, five to 6,000 K midday, mid afternoon, kind of almost as the day progresses and, you know, you get home and you start winding down. These will actually start to, you know, dim down in intensity back to a warmer color temperature until we set it at a set level. And that's where you finish off the rest of your day. So what I'd like to talk about next is layered lighting. What is layered lighting exactly? Layered lighting allows us to adjust the levels of a room in terms of dimming. Uh, to create more of a mood and an effect. Uh, layered lighting, as you can see, is something that could be accomplished in a, a multitude of ways through a control system, through individual dimmers. But it's always better to create a scene through a control system that allows us to kind of recall that again. What you see here is a traditional dining room space. Dining rooms are great. We're all used to having that light over top of our table. But one thing that we've noticed over time is usually that light is pretty much an eye level. And as you can see, once that shade comes up, how glaring that is. It's not a bad thing, but when you're having guests over and you're trying to create more of an inviting space, there's a lot of different ways we can create that. Um, as you can see now, what we've done is we went ahead and kind of dimmed the chandelier, but in the background, we've also brought on the sconces themselves. That's creating a really good effect, but we can make it even better. If we dim the chandelier one more time, as well as the sconces, and incorporate a couple more recessed that focus directly onto the table, we're creating more of a dynamic mood and creating more of an effect. But this feels a lot more inviting and creates more of a visual appeal as opposed to having that glaring fixture over top of your head. So now that we've talked about the brief history of lighting, color temperature, and layered lighting, feel free to reach out to us with your next project. We take lighting very seriously and we think about it from its inception to your final end result. Uh, from colors to fabrics to furniture selections, 
color will really change drastically what those can look like in your space. Visit our Kitchen Design Center by Gramophone in Cockeysville, Maryland, or our other showrooms and ask about our lighting services. Thank you so much for joining us today and for watching. And as always, feel free to leave a comment and let us know how we're doing. Click like and subscribe and click on the bell for future notifications. Thank you again.